Triple G, but they're a relatively short range team overall. Uh, this is a team that wants to fight, that wants to scrap, find different angles to get those engages. Between the turrets and gets to walk back. That's always a good feeling. Getting to walk back to the lane and not missing XP. This route, though, could mean a play. Flash knock up. Great flash needed for Newbie. That would have been a headbutt into a death every time. But all now, over. this means a taunt into a re engage into a lot of CC. But first, it is answered. It is 6A getting first blood of the board uh, before he. It is first blood, just barely going over to 6A. He's not going to get dove, so he will be able to pick up that wave. And up on the top side, Niles just kind of farming away here, uh, looking to poke. But the all in potentially coming from Solo, and Niles is far up this lane. He's in trouble. He is almost dead. Eat some oranges. The barrel could mean a lot, though, and so has to walk away. And now TF is here. He was in bot lane. Now he's in top lane. He's going to find Solo. And oh, no! Oh! Niles! That's not what you're, you're supposed to do. You're in a fight. What, what a camp. I mean, really, just <laughs> the scummiest of plays using the buttons on your kit. Meanwhile, bot lane, if you want to find a camp, it's Stick Say. He's going back to well, his. 600 gold lead. Not bad for CLG. Going to be an Ocean Drake claimed as well. Yeah. Look who's the mythical Making beast the now. move up towards Rift Herald now, and uh, we do see that Pole Belter is, is pretty far away from this play, and it looks like Golden Guardians are, are going to commit to it. Solo fighting Niles up on the top side, though. Big damage on both sides, 300 HP on both, but away they go. A blaze Olive gets himself stunned. Gold card comes across. Ulti's over the top. Galio's going to show up. And it's a two for nothing. Golden Guardians ties the game back up. Griffin is on the wrong side of this map and make it a third in a row of Blaze all of So right there, he just knocked down two turret plates and that's already you know worth a kill essentially. His team needs to be careful to not get engaged on though. Newbie kind of moving up pretty far for nothing. TF ult pop goes right in front towards Poe Belter. Here comes the rest of the squad and immediately burst him down. Could only Zonians, he can't turn invisible against TF, but here come the teleports. The front line is solo. Got a lot of damage, but he's still locked down. A blaze all of had his. Obviously, the stopwatch put an end to that. Solo's on a war, but he's got a jungler coming in in a second. That's going to be a stun pretty soon. Niall's going to be chased down. Easy stun. Flashes oranges. The ult's going to land beautifully played by Griffin. That's the mechanics you want to really, see. Really good option there for the champion. And it's based on the situations in the game. Niall's not going to fight for the wave. Solo cannot last hit this one, but he will start again under the turret, and you just can't live through it. A great dive comes in, but a Blaze Olive rocket belts in, tries to find the damage, can't get the rest of it. Doesn't have the reveal. As well, but... Iconic sitting in the brush. Smoothie is going in front, which is the correct thing to do, but it means that he can kind of push his way in and make Golden Guardians back up. Despite the 2,000 gold lead, Golden Guardians might not feel good about this one. Iconic has found out. Flash of the way. Galley over the top finds two knockups, but still the damage comes across with Poe Belter. Tries to cut away. Is still revealed. Has to ult to stay alive, and CLG now on the disengage. Blaze Olive on the side is going to find another stun, but not enough to kill the Renekton. Scuttle going to be taken by Iconic, and the Dragon is still a potential option there. 6,900 health, almost 7,000. It's going to be I a nice attempt as CLG comes back around. I think this should be Golden Guardian's fight now. Iconic has healed back up to full. A lot of the ultimates are already gone from CLG. I don't think they can right. actually win this 5v5. They're not, but a gold cart not going to be found either. The Jin Trap, he flashes for it. Looks for Wild Turtle, no cleanse available. One more auto, Kaisa shows up. And it's a second kill in a smoothie, no problem. Golden Guardians got the dragon, they get the kill. They're going to get the mid lane turret as well. Everything that they ever wanted. 4,000 gold before. And you look at, well, actually four, because, you know, newbie played in Ladam. Yeah, sure, he went to Worlds. Like, he's actually a very good player, but okay. This is I... something that a lot of the pros really do excel at. And it's just kind of always one of those champions in the same bucket with, you know, your Rises and your Aziers. That always Pops seems to be Scryers great. Bloom, and it's time for Golden Guardians to walk in. TF ult pop. Will they dive in in time? Can they steal away the dragon? Niles is CC'd. Will not be in range for the smite, but in comes Newbie. Gets it anyway somehow. Still grabs the dragon, and the team fight comes in. A one for one. Both supports are dead. Jin opens up. The Blaze all just walks in, tanks the shots. No big deal. They walk in for the dragon, and it's two to two. CLG's able to kind of wait till dragon comes back up, and then play for major objectives. Now I say that while Turtle could be attacked, but it's going to be in on the Turtle. He's trying to get away. It's just not going to be enough. A solo kill. Stixay just does so much damage. And now the rest of CLG may be getting corralled here. A Blaze Olive is low, but he's basing and he has teleport, so he can actually rejoin with the team here off of the teleport, and I think they're going to try to go for the long chase. This could be doable. You're going to have to with a lot of move speed. If he can show back up. There we go. Starts the channel. He's behind them. Gets a stun on the least ideal target, but Smoothie has no way out. Just takes Solo the is hanging around to see if he can give some vision for a desperation attempt here from Griffin. But Griffin going to be chased out, and it should be Golden Guardian's Baron. No problem. 
As long as you mark him pretty well, Niles walks right in, and now they go for the re-engage on Solo, who stayed around too long. Galio shows up to turn the other way, and it's a third kill. All of the outers are alive in bot lane. There's a tier two in top lane. Even just securing those three towers and potentially even this mid tier two. two 30 minutes in, Golden Guardians just in absolute control. There we go. Nice hard CC. Gonna get some damage on a Graves, but Iconic is just gonna jump right back into the front. Tries to cut away. Pobelter nearly dead, and he is gonna drop. No way you live through that one. So it's time for Sealed to run away. A chase down. Niles finds kill number two as they knock down Smoothie. And now number three. Solo is just that. He's got no family around him. And that's going to be a drop there as well. Golden Guardians, another three for zero. They will not be stopped in these fights. Yeah, they are looking just unstoppable. Completely crushing CLG in this game. Going to be up over 10,000 gold here. An easy inhibitor, and it should honestly just be the end of the game unless they're playing very cautious. We'll see if CLG can do anything about it, but it doesn't look like there's much of a chance to hold on here, even at the Nexus. Seems almost impossible. Niles very, very low, going to be CC'd up. One more auto will kill him if they can get the 80 carry in range, but they can't. So Griffin's going to die. It was a valiant effort, but Turtle could not get the rest of the damage in. And out he walks. Turrets are going to fall. Nexus is going to follow. CLG with a 0-2 start to the season. One last gasp to try. The Zonias keeps the deaths from coming through. 18-6. Golden Guardian starts locking with a victory. What a